Welcome back to my channel. It's Brittany from the Imperium, and I have a question for you. Are you ready for it? Because we're making the Taylor tote. Um, so I am in the end of my 13 days of Christmas era. This is releasing as day 13, and it's amazing. I love it so much. So everything on in construction of this bag, except for my cork label from Heartwood and Hyde, and the pink waterproof canvas and the pink thread. Everything else is from Warm Me Now. Um, this pink glitter is a past drop, but December 13th, there is a whole Subtle Eras tour um, drop happening. So if you know, you know, um, we've got this piano floral print. This is printed vinyl. We have clear vinyl, really gorgeous matching webbing. There's also um, a piano key webbing that I it was the only thing I couldn't squeeze into this bag. There is piano key zipper tape. We have a stage zipper pull. So cute. And then um, I'll show you the inside in one second. So the Taylor Tote has two exterior options and two interior options. I did exterior option two and interior option two as well. Exterior two is a piece together um, front with um, handle connectors, whereas exterior one is one piece with a pocket and webbing straps that are sewn on. I really like the look of this. I think it is like a classier look. And then, okay, so once we get to the inside now, ex interior style two has a cargo pocket on one side, just like interior style one, and it has a zipper pocket on the other side with this accent, just like interior one. Exterior style two, you are adding this center divider pocket and you have to divide your gusset. That is so worth it. It is extra work, but I really love it. So also in here, you see the little house zipper pull? It's so cute. And then I've also got an Evermore woven label. Okay, and the last thing I have in here is on the inside of the divider, some arrows. I love it. Love it, love it. It's so cute. I love it so much. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm gonna keep it or not. I have a kit. I have a cutting video for this. It is already posted. I will link it in there. It's it's really cute. Um, we're gonna go over sewing it in this video. It is kind of a longer video, but exterior two and interior two. There are extra things. I think it is worth it. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love if you did. Um, leave me a comment and let me know what is your favorite era. Before we start sewing the Taylor Tote, again, I am doing exterior style two and interior style two. We're gonna go over all of these lovely parts and hardware and whatnot. First, so we're going to need a zipper end. Um, this is going to be my main bag zipper. This is going to be my zipper for my interior zipper pocket. These are going to be my zipper pulls for my center divider pocket on the inside. I have four one inch rectangle rings for my handles. I have two one inch D rings for my crossbody connectors. I have two one and a half inch clips and a one and a half inch um, narrow slider for my one and a half inch webbing crossbody strap. So those are all the parts for that. And then I have my cork label. I have this fun woven label. 
evermore. <laughs> and then I have six connectors for my handles and my crossbody strap. I have my zipper tape for my three different zippers. I am doing a clear um, slip pocket on my exteriors. So I have those. And then I have this vinyl to do a folded over trim on the top of them. Here is my bottom and my sides for my gusset. And then as far as my exterior goes, I'm going to have the print on the sides, the glitter in the middle, and then this pocket, slip pocket will be over that. And then we'll have this up here. So we've got two sets of those, and then we have four of the top accent for our lining and exterior, four top gusset pieces for the lining and the exterior. We have all of our divided um, gusset interior pieces. I am doing two-tone handles, so I have two of each for those. My recessed zipper panel is going to be the printed vinyl and the lining. I have my zipper interior pocket accent piece and lining, and then that'll go on one piece of my lining. I have my cargo pocket to go on my other side of my lining, and then I have the outside and inside for my center divider pocket inside. So lots of pieces, but not to fear. We've got this. It's going to be fun. I'm so excited to see what this bag looks like when it is done, which when you're watching this, you already know because lucky you, you got to see the intro first. <laughs> okay. So I am going to work on my double-sided handles, my um, connector pieces, and my crossbody strap first. And I'm going to do a little time lapse of those. Uh, they're pretty basic and standard for kind of any patterns, so I don't want to hog too much time of this video on them. But once I finish that, we'll start on the exterior. Alright, so we got our crossbody strap ready. We got our double sided handles ready. These things are going to be the last things we need for the entire bag. We got our handle connectors and our crossbody connectors prepped. And now we are going to work on assembling our exterior panels. So we need our slip pockets. I'm going to need my label. I'm not going to need the side connectors, but we will need the handle connectors. And we need our sides. And centers. Here is my last piece. No. 
there it is. Um, and then this, and then my trim. Okay. So if you are doing this pocket the way the pattern tells you to, you'll have an exterior and a lining, and you will put them right sides together, stitch, stitch, flip it, top stitch only the top. But we are going to make a mark. So I cut this an inch wide. So in a half inch, I'm going to make a mark. And then I'm going to take was going to take eighth inch tape. Oh, I found some. Not the one I was looking for, but okay, so I'm going to take this tape and I'm going to go just past the line on both sides. And this is just going to help keep it in place for me. But I'm I'm not putting it where I'm gonna be stitching. Okay. I'm gonna do both of mine at the same time since I cut this uh, big long line. And I did notice that my print is directional. So I want the flowers to not be upside down. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So this will fold. Yeah, okay. So you're gonna take and line up this. And again, this is just if you're doing a clear And then you're gonna fold. Actually, hang on. I need to do it the other way so that when I fold down, you can't see. Okay, so I'm gonna line these up from the top. Okay, so now when I fold down as far as I can, if it doesn't completely go, you're not going to see the white. As long as you're not, like, you don't want to overlap it and go further. Okay. And then we're going to top stitch that on. held my tail much better there. Trim these down. And make sure on the back you caught everything. Okay, so there's that. So now what you would do, or I guess this is the same either way. Okay. You're going to take... Oh, yes. You're going to take your section side main panel 
Am I supposed to put this on the middle? Yes. <laughs> I was like, where is it? Okay, so I'm going to take the middle pieces. And if you were sewing them together, you would have your seam allowance. So this would be shorter, right? And you would line this up an inch. But because I don't have anything on the bottom and I didn't shorten it with seam allowance, I'm going to just line it up to the bottom. So this will be in my seam, which is just one extra layer. And then you would sew this on around, but because I am not needing to top stitch it down right here, I'm just gonna clip this in place I'm so excited. This is going to be so cute. Okay, and I'm going to do that on both of them because the front and back is the same. And then what you're doing is you have your curve on each side. So we want these on these sides. We're going to fold it together or place it right sides together. And clip those. And then we're going to sew this together. All right, let's clip this one together now. And then you open the seam allowance towards the side main panel and stitch down there. And then you're doing the same thing on the other side.
And keep in mind, this is a little bulky, so depending on your materials and your machine, just be mindful. stitching again. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. Now I need to look at them and see if one is a better front. I'm sure it doesn't really matter. I think I like this. Sure. Um, I need to put my logo tag on. Oh, I'm like, where's my ruler? I think that seems reasonable. This will end up... Yeah, I think I'll be good. Okay, so I am going to knot off the threads. And then I just trim this a little bit. So cute. Oh my gosh. All right. Now we need to take our connectors and we're going to put them face down on the edge next to the section middle panel. 
should extend past the edge by one fourth to one half. Okay. So, like this. So I'm doing it so that it's just past the bulk. And not sitting like directly on top of it. Long as you match them up everywhere. Okay, and then we're going to stitch those down. Sorry. I have like Taylor Swift playing in my head. Because how could you not? <laughs> I would absolutely be playing it in the background if it wouldn't copyright, claim, demonetize, whatever me. <laughs> so, there will not be any of that. You can play in the background for yourself if you'd like. This is so cute. <laughs> I can't get over it. Okay. We need two of these upper main panels. Yes. So we're going to go right sides together. And... You should be sewing next to, but not through, your interfacing. If you centered it right, we'll see if I did. these down and make sure you don't hit your hardware it's like really important um, I like to use my stiletto to help hold my layers together I'm gonna do a little back stitch where those connectors are
Okay, and then for the top stitch, you're folding the seam allowance down. And then we're going to be top stitching here. You are going to be going through a lot right here. So keep that in mind. And I think I'm gonna kind of like pump jumper that. I think that was a good decision. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this one. And then I'm going to use the hump jumper again. And then those are our main exterior panels already go. I think I might put that one up just a touch more. It's probably just me being funny. But the next thing we're going to work on is the gusset for the exterior. Alright, so we are going to need our lower side panels. And our bottom panel and then we'll also need crossbody connectors and two of the upper side panels okay so the first thing we are going to do is take one lower side panel and the bottom and we're going to put them right sides together Hi, George. Oh, jeez. Sorry, the vinyl is like, it sticks together big time. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to position. Okay. Okay, so... We will stitch this together. And then we will fold the seam to the lower side panel. Press the seam allowance to the lower side panel and top stitch. Uh, 
Okay, and then you have your crossbody connectors. If you're using webbing, you'll just do the webbing or you'll do these like I did. And then you're going to put it in the center up here. So we can find the center and line it up. And I do believe this is going to overhang. Yes. So just like we did the handle connectors. We want this to overlap. Stitch that on. And then you're going to take the upper side panel and make a sandwich with that. And then we will stitch that together. Make sure your hardware is out of the way. I'm going to back stitch over that. And then you're going to fold the seam allowance to this lower side panel and we're going to top stitch that. Sir, go. And I'm going to I'm really glad I decided to use the accent vinyl. Oh, so sorry, George. I like that I chose to use the accent vinyl because it makes a nice little pop of color. So we're going to repeat this on this side. I just remembered that I do the final top stitch to this bag on my cylinder arm. Which makes me happy because I don't use it enough. Alright, so seam allowance to the lower side panel. Top stitch. Mark the center. Line up our connector. Where was I? Did I even, did I not snip that actually? It's weird. Then your upper panel piece.
together. Make sure your hardware is out of the way. Well, back stitch though. Pull that to the lower panel. Top stitch time. Okay. Yay, that is ready to go. Okay, so we are going to find and mark the centers of our gusset and our panels. But why is that not match up? What happened there? <laughs> it's it's fine. It's weird. Okay. Hopefully. I don't even know if you can see that. Something, one of my seams must have been like a little crooked or something, but we'll make it work and no one will know. Yeah, see, that side matched up. I must have just... Who knows? Something was a little crooked. It's okay. Okay, so we got centers there. And center there. So you do have to clip into, or snip into the curve on your gusset. And you can use staples or baste it. It's up to you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start with my front panel. I'm just going to start by clipping... that center and then I'll go out a little bit on each side and then I'll come over here and these seams should match up. I'm just going to start clipping down the side. And then I'm going to go over here and start doing the same thing. So those match up too. Good, good. So this is where we are going to have to make snips. 
So you're only going to want to snip in like a fourth of an inch at most. Okay. The vinyl, it's a little stiff, so doing the best. Okay, so you can, once you have the snips, you can just kind of get it to match up. I'm probably gonna throw a couple staples in here just to make sure it doesn't shift while I'm sewing. That's always upsetting. Maybe as well put one there. One there. Time to sew. And I'm definitely going to be using my stiletto. And you just want to take your time on the curves. You want to really try not to get any puckers. But once you get past the curves, lots of straights.
And I'm just kind of on those curves, bending it as I go. like the tiniest pucker but it's okay okay it doesn't tell you to trim your seam allowance down but I do need to take the staples out I've been really enjoying my rainbow rule uh rainbow it's a screwdriver yes uh I've been enjoying taking staples out with it Oh. oh my gosh. Too cute. Alright, we need to put the other side on. So, find those centers that we marked. Put some clips on. And then work our way down from the sides again. Yeah, see, this doesn't perfectly match up, but I want that seam to match up. That's more important. I did on this side, but truly, <laughs> it's fine. Okay, and then we're gonna snip the gusset again at the curves. Probably hard to see. Oh, this will work. It gets difficult to maneuver a bag so that I can see and the camera can see it at sometimes. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and staple right now while I'm holding it where I want it. little bit more awkward since we've got the other side on already.
So as long as you centered your stabilizer properly, you shouldn't be stitching through that. I think I caught it a tiny bit. Our exterior is done. I want to flip it and look at it so bad, but I also don't want to. Um, it would appear that all of my curves are good. Oh, it's cute. So cute. All right, I'm going to set this aside. And then we're gonna start our lining. Yay, exterior done. So we're gonna do the cargo pocket side first. So I'm using non-fraying material. So what I'm going to do is fold down a half of an inch, which means I'm gonna draw a line one inch in. And then I'm going to throw some tape on here. I think this tape likes waterproof canvas. So we're just going to go with it. It's fine. Okay. And then... We'll fold this down. I might need to clip a little. like that too. It's fine. Okay. I'm going to top stitch like three eighths of an inch. Sounds about right. Because I folded, yeah, I folded a half inch in. So this will be close enough When I said it would be close enough, this is what I mean. Like that. Looks great. Okay. So now we are going to fold in half, back sides together. So you have the right side out. And then I'm going to press this real good to like make a line. So we have that line. Uh, 
and then with the back side face up, use a ruler to measure one inch next to the center crease. So we're doing that here. And here, which I just measured that one two inches over from that. Okay. So you can put the ruler here and fold it over the ruler to make a fold. But I'm just going to peek that I'm pinching this in the right spot. And make sure it's lined up and you're going to top stitch this down. And then you're going to open it up. Do the same thing over here. You're going to take your lower main panel lining fabric and fold it in half to make a center crease. And then you're going to lay the cargo pocket face up, face up, and you're going to line that up with the center crease. And then you're going to sew an eighth of an inch along either side of the center, so it's like a long skinny rectangle. And then when this folds together, it will cover it. All right. I like just do a little back stitch right there. I got a little funky one stitch, but you won't be able to tell. Okay. So now this gets folded the center and you can clip it in place and then fold it to the center clip it in place and you can baste this together from the back so that you can see where your lining is
And you can go ahead and trim away the excess. So that side of our lining is done, and that's what it's like. So put that to the side. Next, we need the other side of our li main lining. We need our two zipper pocket lining pieces, the zipper pocket accent, a zipper pull and enough zipper tape. Okay. Alright. We are going to use some double sided tape on the back of this. And this is going to go on here. Let's find our center. Sorry, um, the rest of my family just got home. So, if you can hear noises. Alright, so that's there. And then we're going two and a half inches down. I'm going to take this off and looks like that will be lined up. I'm trying to think where exactly I want to put my little label. And I kind of think it would be cute to put it right here. I don't know exactly where I can put it in that you're going to see both sides. So I'm like, should I just put it right there? I may be able to put it in the seam right above. Hmm. Let me think about this for a second. Okay, I consulted my friends. This is going here. Super cute. That's where it's going to be. Sorry. Keep getting interrupted. <laughs> okay, so I consulted my friends and I put this under here. It's going to be really cute. Real cute. Okay. Honey donut. So what we're going to do is stitch around an eighth of an inch all the way around. You can um, knot your threads and like tie them off if you would like. I'm not going to. I think maybe if it was like on the outside of the bag, I would be more inclined to do so.
almost said I think I'm out of battery. I think I'm almost out of bobbin. Wow. <laughs> I personally might be almost out of battery. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we need to poke into here and I'm going to use my duck bill severs. <laughs> I'm sorry. Apparently, I've reached the point of the day where my brain doesn't function. I'm going to use my duck bill scissors. Jeez. And I'm going to try to at least follow where my tape was. Basically, we just need to cut far enough in so that it's not going to show. Past that overlay. This is what it's looking like there. And then we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna pull our lining pieces and our zipper. Okay. With one of your zipper pocket lining pieces right side up, lay your zipper face up on top. along one long edge. And then we're gonna sew that together at an eighth of an inch. I'm gonna clip it real quick. Fold the lining piece so that it's wrong side up and top stitch along the raw edge of the zipper tape. I've done this, but for some reason, every time I like think about it, I have to do it again. Okay, so repeat this step on the other side, lining pieces right side up and zipper face up. And she says, it might seem strange, but it works out. I did it wrong. <laughs> right sides up. I even said it. I just didn't look. Good job, Brittany. At least this is one of the easiest spots to have to take something out because we didn't backstitch.
<laughs> right side up. Right side up. Goodness. I knew too. As soon as I went to top stitch, I'm like, something's wrong. <laughs> Like I said, my, my battery's almost dead. <laughs> it's fine. Alright. Top stitch this down. I definitely like doing the zipper pocket this way because it keeps everything like flat and out of your way. And when I've tried doing this different techniques it's just it's really hard for me so we have this and we're gonna add double-sided tape to both of where we just top stitched This? I was like, this tape is not sticky. Well, that would be because the tape did not come off with the paper. It's weird. Okay. So then... You're going to take... You keep the lining open like this. And I'm not going to put the zipper pull on at this exact moment. But I'm going to line this up. It's fine. And because my zipper tape is directional, I want to make sure that that's on there. So my zipper pull, I'm going to want to go this direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start stitching like right here. And I'm going to go around and once I get to like here, I'm going to pop the zipper pull on and move it in. I'm also going to uh, put my narrow foot on for this. I just find when I'm doing these zippers that it is easier. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to start right about here. Okay, I've got the foot down, let's see, this side was on the top, um, if you're not confident with putting this on like this, you can certainly have it on before.
but I just knew also I'm using a pretty large zipper pull. Come on. Yay. All right. So to kind of <laughs> yeah I have to make sure I could squeeze that in there all right And then the nice thing about this too is because this is top stitched, see you only stitched right around here. You didn't have to worry about catching any lining because it caught it for you. <laughs> this is so extra. I love it so much. <laughs> okay, um, now we are going to fold the top of our zipper pocket lining down and you can trim the excess to match and then we'll fold the bottom half inch up and so only the sides closed okay So we've got that folded up. And then I'm just gonna pop that to the side. And then the same thing here. bobbin right there. <laughs> I won bobbin chicken because I did get some back stitch in there. All right, so you will take this like this. Just kind of hold that a little there. So our two sides of our lining are done. Now we have to make the center divider and put everything together for the lining. Okay, so we can kind of move those to the side. We are going to work on our recessed zipper panel now. So we need zipper tape, we need our main zipper donut, I'm knocking things off the table, and then we need our four recessed zipper panel pieces. We're going to be folding them up half an inch on the short ends on the wrong side. So we're going to need to go through and make an inch mark everywhere.
And then we're going to be taking tape. I like to just take a fourth inch. And put that right up by the line. We're doing that both sides. What am I doing? Below the line. <laughs> My battery. Wait, I'm gonna stop. So, like I said, we are folding these up to that line. And then I'll trim those apart. So, and this is pretty much like your standard recess zipper panel. Okay. I am going to want my zipper to be opening closing to the left. So this is going to be my end. I'm going to, oh, you know what? I hope I have enough of this. Okay. This is going to need that much. Ooh. This is, dare I say, like perfect. <laughs> Yeah, because we need to go all the way across that. Okay. Close call there. Right. I might not have the longest... recess zipper tail for this one, but I think it's going to be okay. So I'm going to fold these down like this, and you can baste them, pin them, clip them in place, but I like to take the lighter. I just want to make sure the angle the same. Oh. Sometimes it takes me a minute. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so I'm gonna want it like this. So I'm gonna fold this up here 
and let's see we'll start this right here And then we'll take a lining piece and make our sandwich. Okay. Oh, that's right. I ran out of bobbin. So, get that changed. And I'm going to put my regular foot back on I just do way better with a fourth inch seam allowance with it come on going to stitch that together. And then we'll open this up. And I like to clip down this side to line things up. And I'll stitch this first because we're going to top stitch all the way around. And then as you're going, you're going to want to give a tug so this is laying flat, but you also want to remember to evenly tug or you'll end up with a wavy zipper. And same thing on the other side. Thanks. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Mike brought me pop. Thank you. Okay, so same thing on the other side. We're gonna line it up. And it should line up just like that. Sometimes I'll take and just lay this down like so and see where things line up. Because it's a little bit difficult with the zipper. Okay, I think this is good. Okay. 
and then the lining on that. And stitch that. I feel like as long as that's long enough that the zipper panels come apart, it's fine. There's no going back at this point anyways. <laughs> We're going to stitch around. I may or may not have a habit of not putting uh, zipper ends on bags, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, but where... There's the screw. They're so tiny. Alright. And my zipper pull. Alright. So which side... This one. What's my cat doing? <laughs> okay, that's on there. And then we just take two tiny pieces of tape front and back fold it over fold it over let me see if I can extend this just a touch. I think as long as I definitely have enough in there. Probably get new batteries for that soon. All right, I don't think that's too bad. It'll still be able to open enough. I normally do longer, but gotta do what you gotta do. This is a really cute zipper panel. I'm gonna go ahead and mark my centers.
you're making interior style two, you're going to skip. Okay. Now we're going to make our center divider pocket. So we need our four pieces for that. So in the pattern, it's just four lining pieces, but depending on what you're doing, my zipper tape and I'm doing two pulls. Definitely think two pulls is the way to go for this one. Okay. Um, in the pattern, she has you do this zipper tape um, longer so you can have the pulls like off the edges. But I think I'm just going to sew it. Luna, leave it alone. <laughs> sew it without the zippers first. Okay. This is real simple doing. So you're going to take your, which, whatever is your outside and right sides together with your zipper tape. So if you're just doing four of the same lining, it doesn't matter. But if you have a like exterior and interior, you're going to do exterior, right side to right side. And then we're going to put the lining for that right sides down, line that up. says to sew this at 3 eighths inch seam allowance. I'm going to do a fourth of an inch because one, I don't love 3 eighths, but two, I am using this piano zipper tape so I want to see a little bit more. That means it might like puff up. A little bit more but I'm totally okay with that so we can see more of this zipper tape especially after I sacrificed the length of my recessed zipper for it okay so we're going to fold everything together and we're going to top stitch through everything. So a lot of time we keep our lining out of our zipper top stitch, but not for this. This is a spot too that you could put a woven label and fold it down and you would see it. And um, part of me is thinking about keeping this bag for myself. <laughs> and I'm like, should I put the Midnight's label on here? I think this would end up on that side. Oh, then it would end up there. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to make something else with it, I think fine. I don't want to like, this is already pretty like extra. Okay, so you're going to line up again. So we're just going to do the same thing that we just did.
Okay. Just finger pressing. And then just top stitch this side. put my zipper pulls on. Wow, I did not line that up. It's not sticking out that far on that side. We'll make it work. It's probably because I had to cut it on the fold. <laughs> it's just, it's fine. You want to make sure that you don't mess up um, the placement of the teeth because when you put two of these together like this, you want it to match up perfectly. You don't want to bubble on either side. Okay, so now we're going to fold this so our seams match up on each side. Just like that. And then, see, everything pretty much matched. I don't, I don't know what was up with that. Oh, yeah, there's our little center marks from when we cut the vinyl. What happens when I match those up? Oh, perfect. It's like the lining is a tiny bit smaller, but with our seam allowance and everything, it's not going to matter. So we're just clipping this together and then Let's see what's up with this. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to base this together. center divider you could put like um a label there too so now we need to make our divider gusset we don't have too many pieces left currently i've been throwing my threads in there okay so we have our center pocket divider a recessed zipper our lining piece with the zipper pocket and our lining piece with the cargo pocket and then we have our upper um, accent pieces those will be last okay <clears throat> we have our center okay hang on divider bot bottom panels and then we have four divider lower side panels. And I marked 
the straight edges. So I would know, because see, this is, I don't know, it's, it's difficult when you got too many pieces there. Okay, so they're going to go like this. I know it's hard for you to see, but that is how it goes. So we're going to make strips first. So I'm going to take these, just pull them to the side, and then I'm going to fold these over here and here just so you can kind of see where they're at. Or no, I'm folding these over so I can put them right sides together so I can clip them to sew them. Okay, and then we're going to sew those together. And then, alright, so we have a straight edge here. We need a straight edge here. Nope, that's not going to work. Straight, straight. Fold it over. And sew it together. What in the world? Did I run on a bobbin again? No. Something happened. Something terrible. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna grab my other bobbin. I'll deal with that one later. That was so weird. Okay, let's try this again. Alright, and then that means that this last piece should be straight, straight, fold it over, sew it together. Um, you could top stitch these pieces if you really wanted to, but they are lining pieces. It does say the top stitch. Okay, so we're pressing seams towards the center, or the the bottom panel, and top stitching. So I'll go ahead and do that for all of them. So if you aren't doing the center divider, you're doing this lining just like you did the exterior where you have one piece and then your two sides and you're just sewing it together and then sewing your sides on just, just like the exterior. But we have a couple extra things we have to do to get that center divider in there. Okay. So, straight edges in the center, straight edges in the center, okay, and then we are measuring an inch and a half down from the center of our gusset panels. Oh man, <laughs> one of the cats <laughs> just pooped, like, clear on the other side of the basement. And I can smell it. It's lovely. I normally don't have that problem. Thought you would like to know. You're welcome. 
Okay, and then we're going to find our centers everywhere. I bet it was donut. Stinky boy. Okay. So we're taking the divider center panel. I feel like this just needs trimmed right here. Like, that's the part that was really sticking out. Okay, so we're taking one side first and the straight edge. So, where I made my marks. Can I make center marks for this? Okay, because you want the flat, like the straight edges, this way. Okay, and then we'll have to snip the gusset. Just like we did on the exterior. Or, yeah, in the, snip the gusset in the corners. The curves. And then... This should line up with this, or it's supposed to, you're supposed to make it line up with that. But like I said, my zipper is going to be sticking up a little bit extra, so I'm going to line it up right under the teeth. this is lining I am not going to be stapling Okay, and then we're going to be stitching around this. Donut. Sir. Hi. Did you take a stinky poo? You're in my way. <laughs> oh, I can hear Thea uh, not happy upstairs. I tried to record this while they were at school and with everything I had going on, getting other videos and stuff taken care of, um, it just didn't happen. So, I apologize. Okay, so... This is, we're just sewing this at a fourth of an inch. And 
then we're gonna do the same on the other side. But we're gonna do half an inch. All right, so we want straight side. What you got down on it? He's like playing with the ends of the gusset. So I want to make sure that this mark matches up and that this lining matches up. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. And I'm trying to keep that zipper sitting as nice as possible. Donut! Now he's attacking my hair. <laughs> okay. I love you, Donut. <laughs> Alright, snips. Okay, so when we do this, we're going to want to go slow and make sure that we're not having these uh, curves pucker because you are going to be going in further than you did the last time. And then we're stitching all the way this time. You really want the zipper tape to stay up so it like stays flat, but I don't know if it did. Doing my best. I feel like it's really hard to not get any puckering right here, but you definitely don't want like the whole thing folded down or something. Try to keep that zipper standing up on this side. 
one. Uh, stuck. That's a difficult task. <laughs> Almost did it there. I mean, I got it pretty close. And then minimal puckering. I would call that a success. Are we... Okay, we are trimming down our seam allowances at the curves. So, I'm going to trim there. Now we need the upper side panel pieces. So when you fold this open, and I'm going to open the seam like that, this will go on there. And it should line up pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and just clip them both on right now. Okay, we're going to sew those on and then we'll press the seam allowance down and top stitch just like we did on the exterior. So seam down, top stitch, So it's a little bit awkward, but it is what it is. Okay, so here is the center of our lining. Okay, so this is our gusset. Okay, so we have to put the recessed zipper panel onto these now. So we have our lining pieces, our recessed zipper, and our upper main panels. Alright, we need to make... Oh, you know what? We have center marks. Because we folded both of these. earlier. Okay. I want this to line up like this. I want my zippers going the same way. So we're going to line up this centered And then we're going to take the upper main panel piece and put that on top, right sides down. And 
And we're going to stitch that together. And then fold the seam allowance down and top stitch under the recessed zipper panel. So seam allowance down, but zipper panel up. And we're stitching under it. One side. Then we're going to repeat that on the other. So, right side up, right side up. Line up our centers. Put our upper panel on. Stitch that together. And then same thing, we're folding, we're going to go this way, seam allowance goes towards the bottom and then we're top stitching here, but that's a lot to have under the machine, so I'm going to do it this way. Okay, so we've got this all together, and this is where it gets a little weird. Okay, so, oh, I keep catching that weird bobbin. Here is this, and now we've got to put attach the gusset to it. Um, if you have a preferred side of this, you need to keep that in mind. I don't. So basically, it's going to end up like this. So we're going to get the center of a main panel lining and a center of the gusset. Oh, I guess I didn't mark the center down here. Oops. Okay. Try that again. Center and center, and you're going to line those up. And then on the sides, you're going to line up that seam and the tops because they should both match up. And 
and then work your way down the side. Go over to the other side and do the same thing. And then, let's see here, you do need to make snips, I'm just gonna clip in a tiny bit more before I do that, okay, snips. We're going to sew this together then. We're going to start at a half and then we will work into a five eighths. Okay. Just make sure your seam allowance at the top goes back. Okay. This is a lot going on right here. so. to increase. <laughs> think I'm going to be able to avoid this pucker. Maybe? So, this part is a little much, but my favorite part about it is that right after it, you're finishing the bag. As long as you need your exterior before you're lining. <laughs> Minor detail. I almost made the lining first. I'm really glad I didn't. Also, I was like, that doesn't really make sense for the video. I do a lot of weird things when I'm constructing things, but I think that one would have been too weird. Milan's goes back to where it should be. Alright, so we have one side together. I guess I could unzip that. Okay. So 
there's our one side. And now I'm gonna put that again <laughs> so I don't twist it up or something silly. And we're gonna do the same thing on this side. It's so exciting. We're getting there. This center divider is like real nice though too. Like I really like it. Same thing. Gotta sew this together. You can go in on your seam allowance. your back to your normal seam allowance by the time you get up here. Okay, and then as far as trimming seam allowance goes, we're going to trim the bottom curves and open the seams at the top. Um, I had like basted these down the first time I made it. Um, I'm not going to, if that's something you want to do, go for it. Oh, so sorry. Got a little 
close there. <laughs> okay. This has like a lot going on. So I'm just gonna trim those down some more. Okay, I get alright, I got them all. The lining is done, the exterior is done. Alright, so turn the lining so the right sides are out. This is a little bit weird to do with that center um, pocket. You could do this bag as a drop-in if you wanted to. Um, the way you would do that is you would have kept the lining the way it was and then you would turn the exterior right sides out and you make like a mark an inch down and fold and then just stitch it all together to top stitch and finish it. But I'm not doing it that way. Okay. Well, a little weird, but we're going to want to make sure this zipper's open because we are going to be turning the bag through there. And then also, we are going to want this there's a zipper panel to stay out of our way we are going to grab our exterior and being mindful of which way we want our zipper so this is my front I want my zipper closing over here, so that means where the zipper closes, I'm going to drop this in to there, and you're going to want all of your hardware and everything to be sticking down. And then um, I'm going to finish this bag at my cylinder arm. So I'm gonna go ahead and move over there. I know the lighting over here isn't the greatest, but I think it just feels that way now because I have more light over there. Anyways, we have our lining right side out, our exterior wrong side out, and we've dropped the lining inside of the exterior. And again, your gentleman wants to make sure that everything is poked down that can be. And we are going to line up all of these seams first. Okay, this might take me a minute because these are, this vinyl's a little thick. You want your assess panels down. You want everything all the way. And then I didn't make that one bit my finger. <laughs> I didn't make center marks here. 
but I really feel like you can just match them up on your own. The important thing is that you're getting these um, seams in the corners matched up. And as long as you kept your seam allowance consistent at the tops of your exterior in your lining, it should all match up. And then we're going to top stitch. No, it is a top. We're stitching around the top. <laughs> okay. I have to turn it on. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. I have things pushed up against the belt. Haven't used that in a little bit. Worried me for a second. <laughs> I really feel like when you're putting this bag together, it doesn't feel like it's as big as this. I forgot to take staples out on that side. I'll have to do that after this. But it is a decent sized bag. Um, I have thought a couple times about scaling it up or just adding width so that I could use it as a laptop bag. I currently use an everyday tote for that, but I would love to use a tailor tote, especially with that divider in there. So good. And um, I'm just following facing line for this because I don't have a seam guide on this machine. just be one of the cords. Um, and Lauren says in the pattern, after you do this, you could trim these seam allowances down but she doesn't because she feels like it gives you a nice top structure when you go to top stitch. And I like to keep them too, kind of for the same reason. Um, I just feel like when you top stitch, if you have the seam uh, cut down too much, 
you're not you're not going through this for the structure and also um what's the word i'm looking for uh depending on how you trim the seam allowance you might end up like on and off of the bulk and i just i think it's a, a more consistent better stitch if you leave it Okay. So, now we have to turn this whole bag through this pocket. So I'm going to reach in and I'm going to push my lining up some and then I'll reach in and grab the exterior and pull it through. Um, I'm not going to do it on camera because I think it's going to take me a while because my uh, shoulders and hands have been bugging me, but I'll be right back after I flip it. Okay, so we're all turned right to out, kind of. This is a little funky, but I need to close the zipper before I shove everything back in. Zipper pocket. I gotta close the zipper pocket. So you're just going to pull that down in. And then you'll be stitching across. I'm going to put this make the whole place shimmer tag in. So about a third of the way in. I'm just going to that in what well, just happened that's fine Maybe we should tuck this all in here first. Okay. It is really awkward with that divider. Okay, that side has to go first. Now we can. I feel like that does not look like amazing right there. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm not taking it apart. I think it's fine. Just me being overly fine. Okay, so now I can push those in better. Just trying to get the Pocket. Okay, so that we've got that and that. Okay, so all of this is going to fold down. This is how it's going to be. Just kind of looks funny right now until we top stitch it. Okay. Just needs to like 
be shaped a little bit more and get the lining pushed in more. Okay. So this is thick. This is why I moved over to the cylinder arm. Once we stitch this, it'll look a lot different too. Once everything sits down nicely, it's just when everything is <laughs> it's overwhelming. Okay, just so much little crate in there. I'm trying to smooth. Okay. I think we're ready to top stitch. I'm going to start in the back. What am I doing? The cylinder arm. <laughs> So you're going to want to make sure that you are getting hardware, zipper panels, zippers, you don't want anything in the way. So these seams are going to be a lot. My machine has a built-in pump jumper. And I am going to utilize it each time I go over those. If your machine doesn't, I suggest using something. It's mildly annoying having to click that back and forth, but it really makes a difference.
<laughs> there we go. That's already sitting better. It just needs a little bit of love. Kind of takes a little bit of time, I feel like, for some bags to shape how they should. Oh, it's so cute. All right, we just have to put the handles on. Oh my gosh, I love it. So all we have to do is put our handles on. And I do believe, yes, I'm gonna do the print on the outside and the glitter on the inside. Okay, so I have this little um, rivet strap template guide thingy from Jolie Lee Creations and there are these holes. I know it's really hard to tell, but I always do a, I'm just going to poke holes. I always do a and C. You know what would be cool is, oh, it did work. <laughs> Cheat code unlocked. I can punch this into here. <laughs> I feel like a mad scientist. I don't know. Listen. It's been a long 13 days of Christmas. It's been a long year life. I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. Just got a lot going on right now. Okay, so do that on the other one. We're almost done. This is so slick. Why didn't I think of this sooner? Because the holes are like perfectly sized so that this fits through it. One more set. I, um, love these rainbow hole punches now that I've gotten used to like you really got to give it a squeeze which is fine okay so I have my rivets so we're gonna take and put that through so that the print is on the outside. Ooh, okay, hang on. One strap is more pink and one is more blue. So I'm gonna put the pink one on the front of the bag. And the only reason there's a front and a back is because my logo is on the front. So, it is what it is. Okay. Okay, apparently I'm throwing rivets now. Okay, so I put the rivet on there, and then you just want to make sure it's not twisted. Sorry, I thought by putting the camera up here to do this part, it would be better because you would see more. I don't know. You can watch me set the rivets. That never happens. Um, apparently, this is... Thicker. Oh, that's a rainbow top. It's a little bit thicker than I thought it was. That one popped off. Oh no. Lost the cap. All right. 
This is really cute. I'm like, I don't need to keep it. I shouldn't keep it. Okay. Should sell it. We'll see if that happens. Too many stuffies up there, they're in the way. Okay, so there's the one. Get the other one on. Um, I have been wanting to get the buckle guy dies for my rivet press because the ones I have have been scratching my rainbow rivets, which is not good because they're expensive. And then it looks not so good when that happens. Okay, one more. Um, and you could change the length of these candles too. Like if you want them to just be little grab candles, or if you want like specifically to use this as a shoulder tote, you could do that and make them longer. I do like the length of them, especially having the crossbody strap too. gonna clip the crossbody on. I love this um, webbing. It is so cute. All right, so there you have it. There is my Tailorific Taylor Tote. He's so cute. Let's see here. I don't know, you probably won't be able to. We'll pretend. Ooh. It's really cute. Thank you for hanging out with me. I know it's probably on the longer side for a video, but we did the extra options, and I would say it paid off. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget, please subscribe. Leave me a like. Let me know if you made it. Have a great day. Bye.